Just look at them all out there. Small, common, and ordinary. All looking to bask in the glow of the spotlight. Some of them make it. Then again, some of them don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did it all that New York experimental stuff. My performance art piece, Slug in a Salt Shaker. And, of course, uh, Hang Ki in the Chinese film Ah Chu. And I directed the stage versions of Top Gun, Star Wars. I even taught mime for a year at the Hoffman Institute for the Blind. But my talents just weren't appreciated there. So I'm headed to Hollywood. So what about you? Any big plans? Well, I met this producer and uh, he gave me his card. Wow! <laughs> Lolita, get the hair salon ready, because we got ourselves a bona fide, classy production. We got named talent, and Dmitry Mirov, the great Russian director, and my beautiful daughter, Holly. Hey, G, you make me embarrassed with red on my face. I appreciate all the hard work and dedication from each of you. Larry, you're managing this production flawlessly. However, there's one more factor we have to contend with, and it manifests itself in the form of a woman. A woman without whom this theater would not exist. And that woman is her. My mother, your grandmother, Holly, honey, who phoned this morning to say that if our beloved show bombs, she'll convert this theater into a shoe factory. Oh. Uh, but that won't happen. Oh. Why, you ask? Because of the great stars I booked. Still have to cut down on costs. There's no long distance phone calls and no production pizzas. And if I ever find out who leaves the light on in the bathroom. Oh. Please. Closing.
Fraternizing with this woman. Larry, introduce me to this beautiful woman at once. This is uh, Mary. Mary. Mary, what a beautiful name for a beautiful girl. Uh, Dmitry Mirov, the uh, director at the theater where I work. Oh, you're Russian. You know, Chekhov is one of my favorite playwrights. Uh, Chekhov. <laughs> I, too, love Star Trek. <laughs> well, you must know a lot of famous people. I once courted a girl who was said to have had the niecehood to Mr. Curly. The funniest of the Stooges three. <laughs> he was funny. It is refreshing to meet a young girl who has such knowledge of pathos of comedy and understanding as yourself. To be honestly perfect, I want to take you into my arms, sing your Russian folk songs, lie you in a bed of petunias, and make... Put me a star? Ah, that in addition, too. <laughs> oh, I must go. Perhaps you should come to the theater, and we will discuss it. <laughs> Pick up the paper, Larry, you stupid. Hey, G, I really want to be in your show. You know I've got talent. I can sing, I can dance, I can really cut a rug. That I know. Not too much off the side. Hey, G, you promised to give me a chance. You know, I almost got a call back for the La Caja Fall Road Tour. They love my Marilyn Monroe number. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> There's a woman. Talent, beauty. <sighs> what a knockout. Alita, you just gotta pay your dues just like everybody else. They just rushed me when I wasn't looking. You know, my dad warned me that something like this was going to happen. Wow, Dolly's in your show? She is really big in Iowa. Well, you know, there's still some parts open in 100 years of Hollywood. Yeah? It's mostly chorus parts, but... Do you think that maybe I could audition? I can't promise anything, but uh, I'll try. I mean, who knows? Dimitri might even remember you. Well, I'm... I gotta go. Uh, can I give you a lift somewhere? I mean, you got a place to go, right? Well, you, you don't, do you? You don't know anybody? Uh, I got a couch. Oh, I couldn't. No, no, it'd be okay, you know, just until you get back on your feet. But I hardly know you, Larry. I, uh, I hardly know you, too. But I, I, I can't just leave you here. Well, I guess I have to trust somebody. <laughs> Hi, 
boy, Jimmy boy, Jimmy boy. What's happening? <laughs> I see you clean the uniform. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ajax, my man. Yeah, I know, feeling good, too. Hey, do you know why I'm feeling good? Well, why, Ajax? Because you are paying the offices of a man who has just booked the biggest stars of the day and his beautiful and talented daughter, Holly. Wow. Yes, Jimmy. A hit, a huge, star-studded, prestigious, extravagant, blow your socks off, never have to work another day of your life of a hit. How did you get all these stars? Jimmy, we've been over it a thousand times. Listen, I'll spell it out for you. Frankly, it's such a brilliant scheme that I get off listening to myself explain it. Now, ah. these are the stars, and they're all set to do the show. Why? This is the brilliant part. It all comes down to one man, this man, Yaki Yamashiro, my gardener. You see, years ago, young Yaki and I went yachting. Yaki fell overboard. I heard Yaki yelling about a yard out, and utilizing my yellow ukulele, I yanked the yelping Yaki from the sea. Do you understand? No. Okay. Yaki is Sly Spamone's gardener. Now, Yaki told me that Spamone told Yaki that he, Spamone, would do the show. Spamone told Yaki? Yeah. When Sly was shooting this movie, Yaki saved his life by blocking a giant boulder, which almost crushed poor Sly. So you see, Sly owes him one, and Yaki owes me. For utilizing your yellow ukulele to yank the yapping yak y uh, Yaki? Exactly. So, with Sly Spamone committed, we automatically got Bert. And then, of course, we got Lonnie. And then things really started to snowball. People were calling from everywhere, wanting to do the show. Louise, Gibson, Dolly, Brooke, Passenger, Heston, Nolte, Bronson, Eastwood, Schwarzenegger, Pee Wee. And then we get the big ones. Hoffman, Newman, Redford, Johnson, Cruz Street, and the two T's, Mr. T and E.T. Wow, what a show. Hello? E.G., listen. Things aren't looking good here. Fly's furious. What do you mean? Well, uh, he just found out that the boulder that I saved him from was a styrofoam. Now he says he doesn't owe me one. What? He's out of the show, A.G. Sorry, I gotta go. Bye. Thanks, Sly. We're even. Girls, it's party time. <laughs> oh, my God. Get a hold of yourself. All is not lost. Still plenty of stars. It's got to succeed. <laughs> it can't bomb. H.E., you've gotten a lot of calls. Would you like all your messages? Yeah, fine. Oh, so, okay. speaking of bombs, did I ever Bad news for you today. Word and dot and say no way. There is a no can do. This was an incredible game. What do you mean he can't do his show? I got it. No Spamone, no Hester. It went like three hours. I don't care if Spice Spamone's his favorite actor. A deal's a deal. This guy threw a ball. Red for the big negative? I cracked some guy in the head. Mr. T and Hulk Hogan are no go? No, no. Not the hoaxer. <laughs> Oh, the Sperman twins, yeah. You're out. Oh, what is that? I could even be a referee guy. You know, with the black and the white and doing the signals. Because I think I know the beat. I think I could, I'm a community. I think I could do the Big smile, honey. Much Isn't better she than great. Because when I watch a football game, I become the football game. I am the ball. Look through it, look through it. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Trump goes nuts, the combination. Thank you very much, Mr. Bottom. I have seen enough. Your insight into Rocky Balboa is, is quite interesting. But I'm not done yet. See, I have to reach D. Oh, down. no, no, no. It's late. And I am going home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Hello? Karasapochka moya. Galupka Moya. Sorry, wrong number. Oh. It is me, Timby. 
Oh, hi, Dimitri. I am calling to tell you that you are my little darling turtle dove in the Russia. Dimitri? Are you there, Dimitri? Dimitri? Is it my bubushki? Hello? Larry, it's me, Tyler. Oh, oh, Holly, hi. Listen, uh, rehearsal is 11 o'clock sharp tomorrow. Oh, Larry, you are such an efficient stage manager. I love that in Huh? Yeah, yeah, I try, I try. Oh, I'll just bet you do. Listen, Larry, I could use some help learning my lines on Hollywood's Most Memorable Kisses segment. Maybe you and I could meet and get down. The lines, that is. Look, Holly, I would really like to help you, really, but I am very busy right now. Oh, Larry Kins, it's for the good of the show. All right, all right, fine, fine. But, but, but listen, Holly, we're going to rehearse. Oh, well, we could do that, too. Friday night, 8 o'clock, pick me up? Yeah, 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 fine. Till then, sleep tight, Larry. You know, I really appreciate what you're doing for me, Larry. No, no, don't worry about it. Imagine I could be in some horrible situation, not knowing the city and not knowing who to trust. It's not as safe as living at home, huh? Well, I guess it's the same everywhere. I mean, even in Iowa, there was this farmer I used to date who used to try and take advantage of me by getting me drunk on cheap wine. You must have had some redeeming qualities. Well, I suppose. But I hated the way he dressed. He always wore this tacky plaid blazer. I mean, it's the 90s, right? Get some style. Oh, and get this. One night he tried to seduce me to this song, Hold Me Baby. Here. Thanks. You know, I am just so excited to be finally here in Hollywood. I bet your parents are excited, too. Yeah, they don't really see it that way. They're not too impressed with Hollywood. Why not? Well, it's mostly my dad. He just doesn't think that people out here have the same kind of values that he tried to raise me by. Picnics and hay rides, they may be good enough for some people, but I know there's more to life. I love picnics. <laughs> I do, too. It's just that I want to be a singer. When I sing something, I want people to stand up and take note. You know, my parents... They've never really taken me seriously. They've never even seen me perform. That's awful. But see, I believe if you really want something bad enough, you can get it. All you need is a little bit of luck. I, uh... I want you to have this. What's this for? For luck. See, that was my grandmother's lucky scarf. She used to wear that, so that whenever she had a problem, she could overcome it with style. Oh, I can't take this, Larry. Does it smell bad? It's just mothballs, really. <laughs> no, it's just, it's important. It's something you should have. See, the last time I wore it, it, it created more problems than it solved. <laughs> I, I'd like you to have it. So, how do I look? 
like a star. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Well, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Um, good night. Sweet dreams. Humphrey Bogart, and he's dead. What am I gonna do? Show business to shoe business. Overnight. What's the matter, A.G.? You seem to be a little down in the mouth. Everybody is canceled out on my big show. Hey. You're Humphrey Bogart. You got your style, such panache, such a nice white suit. Thanks, A.G., but actually it's yellow. But this dream's in black and white. So tell me, all your actors backed out on you, huh? Yeah. And if this show isn't a success, I'll be up to my ears and eyelids working in a shoe factory. I'd like to help you, A.G., but you know I'm dead. <laughs> I know. It's just awful. Well, you know, actually, I'm getting used to it. I mean, I sleep when I want to. People bring me flowers. No, I mean about my show. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like you're up the creek without a paddle, A.G. Ladies and gentlemen, the Casablanca proudly welcomes B.J. LaRue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a crowd tonight. I love this guy. Just got back from a gig down in Hades. Horrible audience. And the heat. <laughs> well, I uh, hope you like some impersonations. I'd like to start off with one of my favorites. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Perfect. Now listen here, Pilgrim. He's looking at you, kid. Holy simoleons. He looks just like you. Now watch. Oh my gosh. He looks just like me. Oh, my gosh. He looks just like me. That's it. That's it. Huh? Ah. Hi, Mother. Yes, yes. I know, I know. But don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be great. Forget the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Got to go now. Mr. LaRue, here's looking at you. Hand is out. Take it nice. Looking to left again. Dancing came very good. One, two, three. Very good. <sighs> we are both so talented. We have such good skin and well-developed bodies. Be rich in love and money and make many, many talentful children. How dare you! Not on your life! Keep your mind on the dance! And it's talented, not talentful! Talented! Cozy, cozy, the water to the heat! Cozy, cozy, the water to the heat! What the heck are you doing? I'm dancing! Your daughter has rejected me. I am broken hearted like fine china in shop with buffalo robe. And I am in sadness, and when I am in sadness, I dance. Well, stop already with the legs for a minute. I've got some drastic bad news for you. We've lost all our stars. Yes! This is awful. I am double heavy hearted. I must again dance. Don't, or I'll take away your visa. And I don't mean your credit card. There's going to be an emergency meeting in my office in five minutes. Be there. Lookalikes? Yeah. This way we can get any star we want, even if they're dead. It's ingenious. And not to mention, we'll save a bundle. <laughs> I did once use twin sisters to play the brothers Karamozov. It worked. 
Well, where do we find these lookalikes? Go anywhere and everywhere. Larry, put up flyers, run ads in the trades. Dimitri, we need marching bands, cheerleaders, excitement. <laughs> ah, this is going to be more than just a show. This is going to be an event. <laughs> It's going to be a big picture, and i got to have plenty of smokes. Hello. Variety? Yeah, by all means. Two pages. That'll be fine. I just realized you look like Schwarzenegger. And I look like DeVito. Bruno. Pal, you're looking at our ticket home. Our escalator to fame, fortune, and all the babes we want. Listen up. I've got a plan. for casting. No, I'm sorry, he's busy. Can I take a message? Yes. Uh-huh. I got it. Bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Keep moving, keep moving. Thank you. Okay, now, who's next? Um, Guido Luini. <laughs> oh, I see you breathe fire. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. Wait for casting. Oh, hi, Rob. How's the kitty show? Uh, what do you need? Thomas? The talking turtle? I'm the man for the part. I can play a turtle. I'm playing with feeling, timid, yet very cerebral. Sir, please, have a seat and wait your turn. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. Yeah, go on. Okay, yes. Bobo the Clown. Bobo. I can play a clown. I play him with a cheerily, playful happiness, but not stupid, with an underlying sadness that I feel. Sir, from please, the... I do not want to tell you again. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> can you go on? Uh-huh. Okay. Chauncey the Chalkboard? I'm the man for the part. Please, I played a chalkboard before. I know the motivation. Now listen here, Bob. You moron! I'm sorry, Shandrick. Alice, Alan, get the fire extinguisher! Damn it! Oh, do I get the job? Casting? Yeah. I need some people to play the uh, Sharks and Jets in a scene from the West Side Story. Yes. I need them for my show. And I'd like to get them over here to audition, okay? You got it. Okay. All Marilyn Monroe lookalikes, this way to the producer's office. All of you auditioning for the Sharks and Jets, and you'll follow me. When I shoot, you die. No, got it? This is it? I'm afraid so. I mean, AG wanted these guys. Well, do they have any lines? Um, no, no. All they do is stand there on either side of the dancing Hollywood sign. Yeah. All right, you guys got the part to be here for rehearsal on Monday. Monday. We got it! Honey. You. 
You were the most beautiful Marilyn I've ever seen. I'm glad. Don't run away. Come back. with senior home. Huh. I call them at home. Hello, Hollywood Seniors Home. Hello. I am sorry to be bothering you at home, but we need senior cheerleaders for big, big production. Why, certainly. We are the greatest cheerleaders of all time. Wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to the Waterfront Cafe. May I help you? Yeah, um, I'm here about the waitressing job. Oh, bad one. We hired Matt months ago. But the sign. Oh, wow. Did I forget to take that down? Looking good, Matt. Hey, cutie. Hey, Matt. Bad one, bro. You're fired. Welcome to the Waterfront Cafe. May I help you? The job? Oh, righteous timing. I just fired Matt. Hey, can you start, like, now? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right, thank okay. you. Whatever happened to Matt? Oh, Mary. How can I tell her that I love her? I could take her to a beautiful French restaurant. And what would you like, ma'am? I'll start with the caviar, and then I'll have lobster. And bring a bottle of your best champagne. Very nice choice. And for you, sir? I'll just have water. <laughs> nah, can't afford it. I, I could give her a beautiful bouquet of flowers. No, no, not original. I gotta be a man. I'm not a wimp. Hey, what's going on? What do you think you're doing? Aren't you? Mom! Mom! Not you again. You stay away from my baby, Rob.
Mary. I know this is awkward, but I think I love you. Thanks for live, Ma. See you in an hour. Remember, I'll be a gentleman, Robbie. Okay, now, scene 12. Scene 12. Oh, darling, it has been so long, oh, I must have you baby, now. Oh, 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 darling, it has been so long, I must have baby, you now. isn't that what I said? Oh. What's the matter, Larry? You're not praying your role. You're supposed to tear off my clothes and ravage me. Uh, oh, Holly, Holly, no, I, I can't do that. Oh, come on, Larry, baby. This should be easy. <clears throat> Holly, you know I can't do that. We're, we're just reading. I know you like me, but I'm in love with another woman. See, and, 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 see, she's staying with me at my apartment. And you're going to meet her, I think, because uh, she's going to audition for Dimitri. Sharing your body with another woman doesn't bother me at all. As long as I get all the good oh. parts. Hey, you guys, it's Mr. Happy Face. Looks like he's having some fun. Girls, I think it's time we had some fun of our own. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Quit resisting. I know you wanted to drop the last time. Well, no, no. Mm. I'm laying in the lamps for rehearsing. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? Wait, step, Holly, Holly, this is my good shirt. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, baby, I knew you'd show up. Oh, I've been waiting for you all night. Larry, is this a woman you were just telling me about? No, no, no. No? No. There are more? Oh, oh, oh. Honey, let's get it. We gotta get out of here! <laughs> you, you five-timing off your eyes. Confirms the excitement. Ah, the muscle man. Good. Good thing. Perhaps it's video. I'll catch for a second catch. Hmm. But it's not again. That's not scared. Yeah, we'll call you. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, everyone. Uh, auditioning for the uh, Dancing Hollywood sign. Come on up. Uh, okay, ladies, uh, you're up on stage, everyone. Uh, form a line. Oh, hi. Uh, you're kind of tall. Uh, do you own your own tutu? Larry? Larry, I would like to take a closer look at My, my, what beautiful hair. How beautiful. I, my little doll of a black carrier. My little Toledo Tootsie. Ah, oh, my little Red Robin. <laughs> Good day, Popuchinski. My Geisha Goody. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. My, you are a beautiful one. Hi, Mr. Miroff. Do you remember me from the other day? Oh, yes. Yes, you installed my cable TV. <laughs> no, no, remember it was on the street. I was with Larry. You wanted to make me a star. <clears throat> and that I will. You will be a legend. You will be a goddess. You will be the most important letter in the Hollywood sign. You will be the O. Oh, 
Thank you, Mr. Miroff. <laughs> Thank you. A pleasure. <laughs> So this is your little girlfriend, huh, Larry? Cute. Maybe we can all go out sometime and husk some corn. Hello, darling. I hope that you are not going to cast all the tall ones, Dimitri, and make me look like a dwarf. Hi, A.G. Come for another toupee trim? Oh, no, I'm set for a while. <laughs> Let's try for a manicure, huh? Sure, I'll be right with you. Uh, I had an unbelievable audition. A Marilyn lookalike. I mean, it was her. It was Norma Jean. Really? When she came back, I cast her just like that. Hey, where'd she go? How can I get married to notice me? Oh, well, there was this Packer game in 64, and Bart Starr was getting ready to pass, but instead, he ran a quarterback sneak and scored a touchdown. Jimmy, what does that have to do with Mary? Well, nothing could help you win like a surprise play. Make a move she won't expect. Invite her parents over for dinner. No, no, I can't. Her parents live in Iowa. Just wish I could figure out what's wrong with this machine. I could call them. Oh, here's the problem. You know, it, it might actually work. Oh, that's it. I got it. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, yes. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hello, uh, Mrs. Parsons. My name is Larry Clark. I'm calling about your daughter, Mary. Jane. Oh, is she all right? No, no, ma'am. She's fine. She's fine. Everything's okay. Well, then what is it? She wants to come home, doesn't she? I knew it. Jen, she's coming back! No, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, you don't understand. It's a friend of Mary's. You can tell that daughter of mine she can come on home, but she's not gonna have it easy back here just because things didn't work out in La La Land. No, no, sir. Things are working out. See, Mary's in a show. It's a musical all about Hollywood. I, sir... If you and your wife were to come out here just to see Mary perform, it would really mean a lot to her. Listen, Sonny, me and Edna aren't into that Hollywood performance. Acting, singing, mumbo-jumbo. We watched Jeopardy, Hee Haw, Alf, and into bed. You got it? Jeez, how'd she get herself mixed up in all this stuff? I don't know. I think it was when she found out Dolly Parton was going to be in the show. Dolly? Dolly? Edna packed the bags. We're going to Hollywood. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's start from the top. And I want a little more mic, please. I would like the cheap seats to hear. Hollywood, Hollywood is a hell of a town. The stars go up and the stars go down. Shines for me, glamorous found, so mystifying, electrified movie town. Queen of the stars, that's the camera I have found. Hollywood, Hollywood is a hell of a town. The stars go up and the stars go down. Discover me, it's here I'll be found. Lights on the bright side, they'll see me all around. Look me, camera at the door. What exactly is it you're doing up there? And who in this theater gave you the guns? Well, see, we thought we'd go that extra mile for the show, so me and the boys, we bought them ourselves. I am the director of this low-budget yet quality show. I want you to disarm yourself immediately and don't move. All right, everybody. Let's start again from the top. And I thought I said more mic, please. Hollywood, Hollywood, it's a hell of a town. The Hollywood! Go I know there'll be other men in your life. 
you should date some of them. Hold it! Hold it! What are you doing up here? Do you question the artistic vision of the great renowned Dmitry Mirov, Mr. Famous Nice Guy Director? But, sir, you're Russian. I don't think you understand the socio-economic realities that induce many of the youth in this country to band together into groups, seeking camaraderie, support, joining forces to combat the sordid capitalism and domestic imperialism that was permeating the country during the post-war era. You don't get it, do you, Mr. Mirov? Enough. One more word, and you are Have you seen my impressions? <laughs> Discover me, it's here I'll be found. Life on the right side, they'll see me all around. Cameras store me, this place is my town. Cameras adore me, I'm spinning all around. Right on the top, I'm spinning around. Wonderful! <laughs> I uh, never thought I'd see you again. It's good to have you back. Now, where did we leave off? Okay, everyone, take five. You have a lovely voice. Oh, thank you. I was just thinking that you'd have a much easier time on that last note if you just use your diaphragm. I mean, if you do it right, you wouldn't even need to use a microphone. I'm spinning around. Who? are you, Miss Cowgirl, and how dare you tell me my business? This is wonderful. Perhaps you should be using your diagram. I want her out! Daddy! 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 What seems to be the problem there? Hey, Bajan, my, she is paralyzing her vocal cords. What's that? This is awful. The show opens in two days. What are we going to do? Well, we have to replace her. I'm sorry, darling. We have no choice. And you have no voice. Can she sing? Yes, sir. That's it, Dimitri. Teach her the song. I'm sorry. No, no. Mary, come here. I feel great for you. I, uh, I feel awful for Holly, but I feel great for you. You should, too. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose I should. Listen, um... I was thinking I could make dinner for us tonight. I mean, after rehearsal, if it's okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Good. I, uh... I kind of got a surprise for you. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye. Yeah. Holly, how do you feel? What, have you come to gloat over my misfortune? No, no, not at all. See, uh, the thing is, I just want to apologize for what happened the other night. I, I just wish I could make it up to you somehow. Well, what are you doing tonight? I'm kind of feeling a little better. Maybe you could come to my place and, and we could, I don't know, make some spaghetti. Holly, or... Holly, Holly. I can't do that. Look, you are a very, very nice girl, but I'm in love with Mary. I got this big surprise planned for her tonight. Oh, great. Go to her, Larry. Throw your life away. She's just like all the other Hollywood bimbos. All she wants is to be a star. Clue in. God, I was right there, Larry boy, right there in the palm of your hand. But you let me slip out. Well, you know what, Larry? Years from now, you'll be married. Ha! And you'll find yourself lying next to that dish rag after a night of bad sex. Only 
to be awakened by the pungent odor of the belch just emitted from the rancid mouth of your wife. So take your letter. Enjoy your life in hell. I don't need you. You obviously don't need me. But I need you, my love. Forgetting about this no-class idiot. You will be my star. You, you will be shining brighter than any man has looked. You will be the sun in my eyes. A.G. Yes? There's an urgent telegram that's just arrived. Would you like to hear it? What is it? Here it is. From the president of the United States, I'm pleased to announce my appointment of Dimitri Miroff as the new director of the prestigious Glasnost Players based in Washington, D.C. Hey, I can't wait to tell him. <laughs> Are you crazy? Absolutely not! Huh? For you. Hello. What? The president is making me director of Glasnost players. Fantabulous! <laughs> I accept all of your body in marriage, Dimitri, dear. <laughs> Wonderful. This calls for celebration of engagement in Russian tradition with vodka and caviar until midnight. Brodnevia, Gordiaviak, Brodie, Brodoboch, Gorva, Holly. Hello. Hello. This is Steven Spiegelberg's office. The Steven Spiegelberg? Yes. Stephen has heard wonderful things about you, and what a wonderful diaphragm you have. Yes? Well, he's in a bit of a jam with his current movie, and he wanted if you could read for him tonight. I, I can't really tonight. Fine. I'll just call the other girl from Iowa. No, that's okay. Uh, where do I go? Well, you take Melrose to Sunset. Hang a left. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Good night, Mary. Dimitri, you are not going to believe this. I just got an audition with Steven Spiegelberg. The Steven Spiegelberg? Yes. Do you think that maybe you could drive me there? Certainly. Oh, but I must be back by midnight. Fine. No problem. <laughs> you know the pumpkin. <laughs> well, where's that daughter of mine? Now she's probably out gallivanting around town with those pansy theater folk friends. Well, I don't know, Jet. I'm kind of worried. She was never this irresponsible at home. No, I wouldn't worry. I I'm sure she's just held up at rehearsal. Now, look, we got to go back to the hotel. Edna, get your purse. I got to be honest with you, Sonny boy. I think this whole deal about coming out here was a bad idea, and I'm holding you personally responsible. Now, if you could manage for us to see Dolly, well, I think that might be some consolation. Actually, there's a small problem with Dolly. <laughs> there's nothing small about Dolly. Jed. Thanks a lot, Dimitri. Would you like to come in? I can't. I have important love rendezvous to be part of. <laughs> All right, bye. Larry, what are you still doing up? I've been waiting. I made dinner. I've been worried. I know. I'm so sorry, but you would not believe I have had the most horrible night of my entire life. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you and Dimitri, you look pretty upset. What? Larry, I have been driving all over town trying to get to my Steven Spiegelberg audition and the directions Oh, whoa, whoa, off. wait a second. Steven Spiegelberg? Yes. The director? Yes. You had an audition with Steven Spiegelberg, the yes, director? Yes, Larry. Oh, come on, Mary. You don't have to worry about hurting my feelings. So you had a date with Dimitri. What do I care? I don't believe this. You're scolding me like my father. If you don't mind, I'm going to bed. Fine. I'm going to bed, too. Good. Good. Here comes somebody! Hit it! Wait till some show up. Oh, it's a good idea. Yeah, here we are. Hollywood, journey through the stores. Tonight we celebrate a hundred years of Hollywood. Hi, that's Hollywood. An all-star camp we gather you with strong camp and romance. That was great. Okay, now you're on again in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stars of Yesterday and Today. You're on in ten. Larry, I wanted to apologize. I wanted to talk to you. Holly, what are you doing? <laughs> Imagine falling for that Steven Spiegelberg audition. <laughs> I never liked you anyway, you stupid little hick. Now I'll get the opportunity I deserve. You will find me on stage. How will you know? Hollywood has charmed us with many a movie musical. Uh, we love you, Dolly. Honey, this is Mary's big number. Oh, Mary Parsons! Uh, I, I mean, Holly Fargo! She's changed her name, Jed. Hollywood, Hollywood, it's hell of a town. Now, would you stop to herself? 
Looks like she's got herself one of those Hollywood boob jobs. It's shine for me, glamorous found, so divine, electrified. What is she doing out there? Look everywhere. I will spoon the open. Sounds like dying Siberian muskrat. <laughs> you. You do impressions, don't you? I'm the man for the part. Good. You're a mix. Excellent. Mary! Mary! Lady, I need that bird. Ladies and gentlemen, the outrageously funny impression of Mr. Nick Bottoms! I'm not warmed up yet. La 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 la. I need a song, bird. She'll be coming round that mountain when she comes. Yeah, she'll be coming round that mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round that mountain. She'll be coming round that mountain. She'll be coming round that big old dark mountain when she comes. No, 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 sit down, come on. Hey, and uh, that's the name of that tune, and you can take that to the bank. Thanks, Bert. Next, a ballad from Phantom of the Opera. Mary? Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to, at this time, Mary? do a few of my impressions. J.R. from Dallas. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, we gotta cap them oil wells and stay away from my woman. Well, I've seen enough. First they defile my daughter, now they're making fun of Larry Hagman. Hey, guys, come here, boy. We gotta find Mary, okay? Here, smell this. The find Mary! <laughs> Dog! Apologize about the other night, Larry. I'm better than that. Will you give me another chance? Sure. Now go out there and knock him dead. Right. This one's for you, Larry. Stretch. Stretch. Stretch it. More. Longer. Keep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something that I think you'll really, really like. This is Chewbacca from Star Wars. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mary Parkin! That's my little girl.
God, I know you're there. Think like you did in rehearsal. You can do it, Mary. I know you can. Please help me now. Oh my God! How does it feel to be a success? It feels great. But I have to give credit to all these wonderful people I worked with: Dmitri Miroff, A.G., and his daughter Holly, and especially Larry. Oh uh, well, it was a long and difficult road. There were many obstacles, and I think the main thing is everyone in the cast had soul. I don't mean the bottom of a shoe. <laughs> Mary, um, yes. come on out. Oh, Danny, Mom, what are you doing here? I can't believe it. We come all the way out here to see Dolly, and we find an even bigger star. Thanks, Larry. Oh, Larry, you're the best. 
only begun. Ask about the sequel, Crazy Hollywood, at the theater near you. 